Well, for me, masculinity is a pattern of practice. Um, so it's not an attitude, it's not what's in people's heads, it's not the state of their hormones, it's what they actually do in the world. And um, that's something that um, has a relationship to your body, to your biology, but not a fixed relationship. So women can behave in a masculine way, though usually it's men who do. And also there are different patterns of masculinity. So different groups of men will conduct themselves in different ways. And those patterns also can change over time. Um, and that, of course, is what we hope to achieve in anti-violence work. Uh, because some patterns of masculinity do include um, a willingness to use violence, an openness to use violence whereas other patterns of masculinity are, uh, in, in comparison, peaceable. Um, and part of the problem of reducing violence in the world is to shift from the first to the second kind of masculinity. Masculinities do, I mean, centrally concern relations between men as a group and women as a group and of course individual relationships between particular men and particular women. But <clears throat> they also concern relationships among men, um, so that one of the things research uh, has repeatedly shown in, in different parts of the world is a kind of hierarchy among masculinities where in a given community or a given uh, organisation, one kind of masculinity is the honoured one is the top dog, so to speak, the hegemonic pattern of masculinity. And other forms of masculinity, by contrast, are less honoured, more marginalised, um, perhaps even excluded from respect altogether. Um, there are <coughs> really quite a range of things that can be done. Um, among different groups of men and boys, of course, because boys, um, many of them in school, uh, many of them in learning situations of one kind or another, are actually in the process of forming their patterns of masculinity. Uh, so interventions towards more peaceable forms of masculinity should, I think, definitely include boys as well as adult men. Um, these interventions can take the form of um, some personalised situations where uh, you create a safe space for boys or men to talk about gender relations, talk about their experiences with women, talk about their experiences with other men, and think through what it would be to live in a more peaceable, more democratic kind of way. Um, there are also public policy interventions which might um, uh, create the possibilities of change in masculinity, uh, given that uh, the most violent institutions in the world are states, military, prison systems, police forces. How can we reduce the impact of that kind of organised violence is also part of the problem of, uh, of uh, changing masculinities.